Let us consider an example. In the absence of an agreement, X, Y and Z are partners and there is a dispute between the partners. So there is a dispute because there is no agreement. Profits before interest on partner's capital was 6,000. So the profit was 6,000 and X wanted interest on capital at the rate of 20% since his capital contribution was the highest. He, X's capital contribution is 1 lakh, Y's is 75 and Z's is 50,000. So there is a profit of 6,000 rupees. Now, how are we going to distribute this profit of 6,000 between X, Y and Z? X has contributed maximum amount of capital that is 1 lakh. Y and Z have contributed 75,000 and 50,000. X wants an interest of 20% on his capital. How should this be distributed in the absence of an agreement? What we discussed before was in the absence of an agreement, no interest on capital is to be paid. In the absence of an agreement, we also had discussed that profit sharing ratio is equal. All partners are given an equal amount. So what are the options here? A. Profits 6000 distribute equally with no interest on capital. This seems to be the right option. Let us just go through the other options. X gets the interest of 20,000. If X were to take interest of 20,000, the loss would be 14,000 and this would be shared equally. Or C option, they say, is all the partners get interest on capital. If all the partners are to get interest on capital at the rate of 20%, 20 percent, 20 percent on 1 lakh plus 75 plus 50,000, then on the amount of profit is only 6,000. It would get it would become when you deduct the interest on total capital, then we would get a loss of 39,000. Should this be shared equally or none of the above? We had already discussed that profit sharing ratio has to be equal and no interest is payable on capital. So our option A seems to be the correct option. Profits of 6000 distribute equally, no interest on capital.